Hello, it's Sonia here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So normally on my channel, I feature mostly crochet type things like crochet stitches, crochet patterns, but I sometimes also do some knitting stuff as well. And today's video is going to be an update video. I have been working on a series called Bust My Stash and I have so much yarn, so I've been trying to work through my yarn. And each month I feature a bin of yarn. And then I try to see what I can make out of that yarn. So now we are in December. So this is the last bin. Can't believe we made it a whole year, which is exciting. And, you know, we'll feature the December bin. And then I'm going to show you the November bin. And as I usually say, uh, there's not usually much progress. <laughs> but... You know, there's so much yarn that I, you know, I have, it's taken me probably 20 years, maybe, I don't know if it's that long, but a lot of years to accumulate all the yarn that I have. So it's going to take me a while to work through it. So I have made a lot of things this year and I will be doing a wrap up video, probably the end of January. And I will, you know, show you how much progress I've made. Um, I probably will try to condense some of the bins to see, you know, how much I've made to make myself feel better because I look at it and I'm like oh but I know I have you know made a slight tiny little dent in the yarn so I do have a lot of things to show you today I um, have been working on a lot of patterns recently I'm going to be doing a series called 12 days of warmth and that will be starting on December 13th and that's a, I believe it's Sunday and it's going to lead up to Christmas Eve. So every day I'm going to have a pattern for 12 days. And last year I did it. I did 12 days of hats. So this year it's going to be 12 days of warmth. So think of, you know, warm, cozy. Um, I'm going to have hats. I have a cow pattern. Uh, I'll show you. I have a whole bunch of projects and things to show you today. So I better stop talking and I better get started. So my first project I did show you. I think it wasn't done yet. Uh, last video. And now it is done. So here we go. It's my snowy night hat. So this is going to be part of 12 Days of Warmth. And it's going to be towards the end. This is a big video to edit. So I'm working through it. But I, you know, got the hard part done. I have the hat finished. And I think it's really pretty. I also have a matching scarf pattern, which is not going to be part of 12 Days of Warmth. I already have that up for sale. I can, I'll can i link that below if you're interested in taking a peek at that. But yeah, this is the snowy night hat and it's going to be part of 12 Days of Warmth. So there is going to be a video for this and I'm also going to have a written pattern for this. I don't know if I'll be able to get it tested. I had said I was going to get all of my patterns tested with the, my 12 Days series, but time's a ticking. <laughs> And it's been, I, you know, I started earlier than last year, but it's, it's been a lot trying to do 12 patterns, 12 videos, plus my normal videos of, I still do stitch of the week and I'm still working through my bust my stash series. And so it's a lot. And plus my one daughter's going to need surgery for her teeth. And it's not just, it's wisdom teeth, but there's also more to it. So appointments and Christmas and, you know, it's just a lot, but I will try to um, make the patterns as error free as possible. So, you know, hopefully they, they will be. I'm really trying to work hard on these guys. So a few of them will be tested, a few of them won't be tested. So just a little heads up there. And all the patterns, when the video goes up, the patterns will be linked below. So yes, here is Snowy Night Hat. So my next project is also gonna be 12 Days of Warmth. I think all of these are 12 Days of Warmth to be, because that's all I've been doing. It's just 12 Days of Warmth, just trying to think of ideas and film them and, you know, make them in time and find the yarn, because I'm trying to use the yarn from my, from my stash. I don't want to be buying yarn. Okay, so we have here, this is an ear warmer here. And this is going to be called Winter Berry. And this is a great quick project. You'll be able to, you know, make this. If you're a very fast crocheter, you could probably make one in about an hour. And it just uses basic crochet stitches. And the nice thing is you can make this to fit any head size. And you can make it as wide 
or as narrow as you want. You can use a variety of yarns. Uh, I just used worsted weight yarn because I seem to have the most of that yarn, so I'm trying to use that up number four. I'm not sure the brand of it. I think it's a pretty color and you know we never have enough of these things at winter time uh, so yeah this is the winter berry so my next project is some mittens and I did show you I believe one of them last time let me try them on but I have them both finished now so here we are we've got mittens and I hope they don't look like my fear is they look like pot holders but hopefully they don't <laughs> They look like mittens. So these are called slant mittens. And again, these are going to be part of 12 days of warmth. And they are made almost completely seamless. You know, you start from, they're going to be made starting from the cuff and working all the way up the mitten. Yeah, these go with my slant hat. I made um, a hat last year for 12 days of hat hats and it was called a slant hat. So I thought mittens would be fun. I have a slant cowl. Uh, the People seem to really like that one, and I actually really like it too. It's it's one of my favorites. It's just really fun. Uh, it uses a stitch of the week, and you know I just think they turned out to be a fun pair of mittens. And I made another pair. So here we have the second pair of slant mittens, and these guys are quite bright. I don't know if they're showing up on camera, but they're they're pretty neon pink. Uh, my daughter had wanted me to buy this yarn and and it's been sitting for a while i didn't know what to do with it so i thought mittens you know you don't want to be bright out there in the snow <laughs> so yeah hope these are uh, slant mittens and part of i think this is going to be pattern number four actually to be honest number one i don't have here i'm still trying to figure out the order of all the patterns and edit them and all that stuff and i think winterberry is going to be number two and uh yeah so I will show you my next project. So my next project is a pair of, I'm calling them slipper socks, and they're not quite done yet. I finished all the stitching, I finished filming, I still need to edit them and do the glamour shots of, you know, the pretty pictures, and the ends still need to be woven in. So these are going to be, I think I'm going to call them alpine slipper socks, because they're not quite a sock, they're not quite a slipper, and You'll be able to make these in any size. It's more of a pattern tutorial because everybody has different size feet, different size legs. You also, you know, I have these to fit like the calf and it's a, a little drawstring here. You don't have to make yours as long as mine. You can make them, you know, more like ankle type socks if you want to. So it's basically a tutorial on how to make your own pair of slipper socks. And as you can see, we need to we need to do a little finishing here and these guys I need I want to wash them and give them a light block because this yarn has been sitting for a while and you know yarn that sits anything that sits for a while in a bin clothing whatever it just starts to get that smell you know so we need to freshen these guys up and I just you know as a rule of thumb I like to block and wash all my projects that I do whether it's hand washing or whether it's in the machine. Uh, these guys, I'll probably just hand wash them. And I did say I'm gonna have a blocking video. I still plan on having it. I've just been so swamped with 12 days of warmth and other things that it's been, I keep putting it on the back burner and putting it on the back burner, but it, it will be coming, I promise. So yeah, here's the other one. So obviously, you know, we have two. So, and you can use these all in one color. I, you know, wanted to use up yarn. So I made them in, you know, this pink, green, blue, and then I was running out so I made, you know, white heels, why not? <laughs> and the funny thing is with the green, I literally have this much yarn. This is my tail for the final. I literally used up every scrap of this green yarn and yay, I'm really proud of myself. I had just enough. I played yarn chicken and I won. Sometimes it doesn't work but I was successful this time, so yay. All right, so we have another project for 12 days of warmth. This is going to be an ear warmer. So here we go. And again, I need to finish this guy up here and weave in the ends. And this one is going to be called linked because I think it looks like linked chains. Hopefully it shows up in the camera. And this is also, um, I use Aran weight yarn for this guy, but you could use worsted weight yarn as well. I just have this yarn, this Aran weight that I really don't like. It's kind of, it's got like a weird fuzzy type texture to it. It is soft, so it will be very comfortable to wear around the head. It's just, 
The yarn in the skein, it, it kind of looks like wool, but it's totally not wool. And so sometimes wool like will stick together, and this yarn sticks together, so it mimics wool, but it really, it's it's so not. It's, I think it's Lion Jiffy brand, and I got it as a gift, and I've never really liked it, but I'm trying to use it up, and it does make nice ear warmers. And this guy does need a little bit of a bath too, because this stuff's been sitting a while. And the nice thing with this one is it's just a slip on. I'm not a big fan of like the ear warmers with snaps and buttons and ties, unless it's like a decorative thing, you know, if you want to decorate with buttons or whatever. But I prefer just to slip it on and out the door pretty, man, that's, that's how I roll. So yeah, this is linked. And again, I don't know what number this guy is going to be. I just finished filming this and so I have to figure out my order still. So my next project, again, 12 Days of Warmth, it's going to be a cal and it is in progress right now. So here we go. I'm not sure if you can really see. Uh, it utilizes the third loop technique with half double crochet and the pattern, I guess it looks slightly, I don't know if you can see, Aztec-like, but it's actually, the pattern is from some old Art Deco wallpaper. I'm a huge Art Deco fan. I love Art Deco like architecture, things like that. And I had found uh, some Art Deco wallpaper online, like some pictures of it. And I actually made some charts out of it a long time ago because some of the patterns were just really fun and unique. And I thought, you know, why not make a cowl out of that and using the third loop technique here. And then there's uh, some post stitches to create the texture. So I'm not show, sure if it's showing up on camera, but I think it's going to be a really pretty cowl. It's probably about halfway done. It's going to be a really wide one. And this one is using, it's actually the yarn is Stylecraft DK weight yarn. And I really like this yarn. It is acrylic, but it has a really nice hand to it. It's just very soft. It's very nice to work with. It just um, creates a really nice fabric. And I am recycling this yarn because, a little anecdote here, this was a skirt. I made this for a publication and I hated it. I just, you know those projects that you make and you're just not loving it. This was one of those things. I like the pattern. I, I love the stitch pattern that I came up with, but just there was some funny color combinations and those are all gone now they there was orange in this yes orange yellow pink and white all with this blue and it did photograph very beautifully I must say that and this was all like editorial type things but no way would uh, it fit my daughter and she was not gonna wear that color combination it, it, in real life it just wasn't cute let's put it this way and I called it the skirt of doom. <laughs> so uh, I went, thought, you know, this is nice yarn. I really love this yarn. I'm recycling it. We're, re we're using it for something else. So it's turning into a cowl and I know I'll have a lot left over and I'll make something else out of it too. So don't be afraid to do that. If you have a project that you made and you're just not loving it, take it apart, use it for something else. I do it all the time. <laughs> so my next project is going to be like a scarf or a wrap and again part of 12 days of warmth and it does use so here we go it does use the trees pattern that I made I thought well I you know had the trees stitch pattern I've got to use that for 12 days of warmth hello holidays trees so this is going to be you can make this into a wrap uh, the, I mean it's going to be I'm gonna make I'm making this for myself so I'll probably just you know wear it downstairs when I watch TV, it gets really chilly in our one room, but you could certainly use finer weight yarn if you wanted to. I'm using this yarn. It's Premier Just Yarn Chunky. And I bought this at the dollar store. I did, I broke down, I bought some yarn. I wasn't going to, but hey, it was at the dollar store. And the yarn is super, super soft. So I thought I'm making this for myself to cozy up to when I'm watching TV. So here is, I'm working on the fringe part, but I think this would be really beautiful if you worked it up in thread weight, uh, you know, worsted weight, whatever you would want to use. It's just, I think it would be really pretty in a whole bunch of different weights of yarn. So this is made out of this chunky, and I dropped it, chunky 
yeah, premier just yarn. And, you know, it was a dollar. And I actually really, really like it. I hope it washes up well. I, I don't know. Um, I've never used this yarn before, but, you know, I saw yarn for a dollar. And I thought the color, like the green, was pretty. They only had two of these. That's why I would have bought more of this. But they only had two left. And they had mostly this, like, white. So, yeah, we're, we're using it. And I think it's going to be a really nice wrap for myself. <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm going to call this guy. This is going to be part of 12 Days of Warmth too. And so yeah, we're working on this guy. Okay, so moving along with the project. So this is another favorite hat. So right here, I had showed that before. And I am currently testing this hat right now. And there were some issues with some stitch counts. Uh, not that there's not enough stitches around, but some rounds are front post half double crochet and they kind of go back and forth so i'm trying to iron all that stuff out so i'm making another one and this is knit picks yarn and i forget what it's called oh but it's knit picks yarn it's uh supposed to be worsted weight i do find with knit picks their worsted weight is a little bit lighter than let's say a red heart or a lion brand but it's still it's going to be fine you'll be able to use a variety of worsted weight yarns with this hat pattern and i really do love this hat pattern so that's why i thought i'll, I'll just make another one and we'll you know my testers and i were trying to iron out the stitch counts with this guy because i do want it to be accurate <laughs> and this one is a little bit more intricate so i really did want to have this one tested it's not hard it's just one of those projects that you need to pay a little bit of attention to when you're working it. So you'll see that on the video. And I believe this is going to be number three in the series. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure, so just stay tuned. <laughs> and I have one more project to show you. So this is going to be a scarf, and it is part of 12 Days of Warmth. And this is made out of Tunisian. I don't know if you can really see it on camera. And it does feature, I have Stitch of the Week here, my Tunisian running chain stitch is on part of this. And then there's another stitch pattern on here, a Tunisian one that I will be featuring on a Stitch of the Week probably in two weeks. And I, again, I have not, as I, with this guy, I haven't seen this one done. I'm not saying that I invented it. I just haven't seen it. And, you know, just like fashion, everything old is new again. I'm sure somebody came up with it years ago and just didn't publish it or whatever. So I just decided to call it the running chain stitch because that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Maybe there is an actual name and if there is, you know, let me know. And so this same with this stitch pattern here, I haven't seen this in and I've looked at quite, I try to do a lot of research. So I don't want to just say, oh, I just looked on Ravelry or whatever. I do try to, you know, look online, uh, look on different sites, look on YouTube. And I, I do try to come up, you know, find it if I can. But if I can't, then I just name the stitch. So, you know, if it's wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this one, uh, I think I'm going to call it linked chains because it kind of reminds me of like linked chains like in a necklace. So not very imaginative, but that's what it looks like to me. So this pattern uh, combines two of those stitch patterns on here. And this is ice yarns that someone had, I think my mom gave it to me. And it's really pretty yarn. It's very soft, very nice to work with. Uh, it's just a pain. The skeins are a pain. That's, that's my one gripe with ice yarns with, um, I, I don't, I forget. I think it's, uh, what is it called? I, I don't know. I'm, but the one type of yarn that my mom likes to give me, and it, it, like I said, really nice, really beautiful, but they don't pull out of the skeins really well. So what I end up doing is this. I always have to wind them into a ball because I just wrestle with the skein. And I'm not real fussy about that. I know some people, if they can't get it out of the center of the skein, they just want to trash the whole thing. And I'm not one of those people. Like, I love yarn. But this one, like, it just like knots up in there and so I just get annoyed and then I just have to you know do this and maybe it's just me maybe other people use this yarn and have no issues but for some reason every one that I get <laughs> I have issues so we do this I don't have a yarn winder I just make my own balls you know I start winding around my fingers and then just keep on going 
So yeah, this is going to be part of 12 Days of Warmth. I'm still working on it and I still need to finish filming it as well. And I don't, I'm not sure of the name yet. Stumped on a name on this guy. Okay, so that was all the projects that I had to show you. And I had a couple other things that I wanted to show you just for fun. Why not? It's going to be long. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I recently bought uh, these Denise interchangeable crochet hooks. And I want to use them for Tunisian crochet. I love to do Tunisian crochet, but I uh, don't, I've not really done Tunisian crochet in the round. And so I was looking on Amazon and I've tried to look for double ended hooks, hooks that weren't like an arm and a leg. And I find that they're just, I can't seem to find a good bargain set of double ended hooks. Not that I want the cheapest of cheap, but I don't really want to invest, you know, lots and lots of money in this. So. Somebody in the comments said they use these for Tunisian in the round. And I think it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm really anxious to try it. I think it's definitely going to work. They come with, um, you know, these, here's these cords here. And you're supposed to have like two hooks on the end, which I'm not going to, like people say buy two sets and then you can put one on one end and one on the other. And then you have your, you know, double-ended hook, but this person came up with a different way of doing it and I'm intrigued. So I'm going to try it. I'll probably film a video with it. So I just wanted to share this with you. And yeah, I got these on Amazon. I think they were like, they were definitely under $20, uh, maybe even under 15 or 10. I don't know. I, I bought them probably a month ago and just, I haven't gotten, had a chance to use them yet because I've been doing so much with my pattern series and everything else going on. But yes, I, after 12 days of warmth, we're gonna bust these guys out and we're gonna use these because I, I'm excited. So, and then my final thing I wanted to show you is today I was at the dentist. You don't need to know that, but there's a Goodwill that's down the street from my dentist. And I went in there to actually buy Christmas gifts. Yes, I do buy Christmas gifts at Goodwill. My family, we don't care. I've gotten gifts from yard sales and we're like that. And I found a really cute sweater for my sister at Goodwill with the tag still on it. She's going to love it. And uh, I decided to just look around and see what was in there. Why not? I was there. And I found this bag and it's full of knitting needles. Now they're not the, you know, best of the best circular knitting needles, but I'll definitely use them. But what I really bought it for was they had a stitch holder still in the package, which these guys come in handy. When you're knitting, like, you need these things. And I always lose them, so I was pretty excited to get this. And also, uh, double pointed needles. For some reason, my double pointed needles, they like to grow legs and run away. So I'm always trying to find double pointed needles, snatch them up, because I do like to knit hats. That I can do pretty well, and I start off with circulars, and then I always need to break out the double pointed. I'm still learning how to use double pointed. Like I would love to make a pair of mittens, but I'm, I'm still struggling with getting like my to make it look seamless. Like you always see like the breaks and the points when I try to knit mittens. It just doesn't look cute. But we're gonna get there one of these days. So yeah, I was really excited. I basically bought it for this, but this whole bag was. $2.99 and there are there's 17 knitting needles circular knitting needles so plus these guys for $2.99 and a lot of these are vintage too I don't think my daughter was like oh mom maybe they're you know worth something I highly doubt it but they're, they still work and I was it was an exciting find for me so I just thought I would share that with you so now I will show you my November bin so you'll see the non-progress there and then I will show you the December bin, our last bin of 2020. What a year it's been. Yeah, I think we're all going to be glad to see it go. <laughs> so yeah, I will uh, show you the bins and uh, let's get to it. All right, so here we go with the November bin. As you can see, it probably looks almost the same. I think I did use one skein of yarn out of here to make the slipper socks and I used the whole thing up so yay but yeah we have quite a bit left in here oh I have some uh I'm actually using making something with this type of yarn 
uh, Lion Brand Homespun. I'm making a blanket. This yarn is best for to me for blankets. So if you have Lion Brand Homespun, it likes to grow. So if you wanted to make like a sweater out of it, I don't really recommend it because it really will stretch. And I've seen some funny pictures of people making garments out of Lion Brand Homespun and like the arms are just ginormously long and stuff like that. So I find this yarn best for blankets. It's very, very soft. Makes a really nice blanket. So yeah, here we are with the November bin and I will get ready to show you the December bin. All right, so da 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 da, the December bin, our final bin for 2020 and for this series. So here we go. And all right off the bat, I can see a lot of abandoned projects here. So here we have this huge hat that I made. And this was a prototype, it was a fail. <laughs> I think this would fit like Sasquatch or something, I don't know. <laughs> but it's definitely way too big. Or maybe it was, you know what, I, maybe it was one of those baby bunting things. I don't even know what it is, but it's gonna be used for something else. And we have lots of green in here, which is fitting because this is December, so the holidays. And here we go, oh yes, I remember this. I was attempting to knit a sweater and which is fine but the problem is there's cables in this and really bad choice of yarn for cables because can you even see the cable no you can't uh, I suggest I learned when you're knitting or crocheting cables you want to not have a busy yarn and uh, yeah see where's the cable it's completely lost so yeah, I abandoned this and I will make something else out of it. Oh, this stuff. Yes, lots of this yarn. I had made slippers out of this yarn. They were tank slippers. If I find a picture, I will put it on here. But I had a lot of this yarn left over and it's really kind of a blah color, I think. It looks nicer on camera than it is in real life. But the tank slippers were supposed to look like a desert because I made them for service. Uh, he served in the army and he served in the desert. So I know tanks in the desert are more deserty colors. <laughs> so I made them in deserty colors. The slippers, long story short, turned out great. But I have a ton of this yarn left over and this I don't even know what I was making out of this maybe playing around with the stitch pattern but we have some of that and lots of odds and ends oh this was a prototype of something I made I think do have a pattern of this turned out nice but I didn't have enough of this yarn to make two so hence one. Oh, we have lots of abandoned projects going on here but yeah there's lots of stuff going on in here I'm gonna have to sift through this one but this is the December bin, and I hope you enjoyed this long video, and I thank you so much for watching. 12 days of warmth, and that will be the so So, we're...